What's up guys, guys are here. Um, I want to talk about world level and then uh, eventually how you get access to an arc ship in Alienation. Um, so you're gonna like you're gonna start off um, when you get the game you're gonna start off here at the training camp which is the it's like the tutorial mission and then after that you get access to the world um, which has got your, your missions and at the moment like uh, I don't know if it's just me but um, it seems like there's not I mean there's plenty of missions there's 20 missions or in total like 20 story missions says right there um, and but I'm hoping like as uh, as time goes on and the game gets bigger like there's gonna be DLC and it's gonna fill out this map like surely surely <laughs> surely that is the plan right please tell me house mark that is the plan why would you have all this space and then you can't go to it like I want something going on in Africa something over here in Australia China that'd be sweet um, this UFO does uh, dot around the map, so that's kind of cool. So uh, every time you, you you take on a UFO, it's in a different location, and I like that. But um, back to it. So you're going to start off here, tutorial, and then you're going to go to Alaska. Um, down here, South America, you're going to go to these four different locations. And then once you've done that, you'll have the mothership. Um, and you beat the mothership to get access to world level... Two, yeah, world level two. Cause you're gonna start in world level one, right? Um, so world level two is just like new game plus. And uh, once you get there, it's gonna you're gonna receive you beat the mothership, and then you're gonna receive a transmission from UNX HQ, and she's basically just gonna say, you know, well done, you beat the mothership, you beat the game. Um, your loot quality is gonna be increased. Uh, enemies are gonna be harder, they're gonna do more damage, they're gonna give you reward more XP for killing them um, and uh, yeah and then you're in world level 2 world level 1 like it's, j it's for the noobs and it? it's for the beginners once you're in world level 2 you can't access world level 1 games anymore so if, uh, if, you're, if you, you're into alienation you're in the game and you're already uh, level 30 and you're in world level 2 and you're do playing with the big dogs but taking down arc ships and stuff and then your friend gets alienation and he's in world level 1 you won't be able to assist him, you won't be able to join his games he's gonna have to beat the game first and then get to world level 2 to uh, to join you just like other games, you know, just like Dark Souls, once he's in new game plus he's, uh, your, your friends are out of your reach you've got to be in the same world on the same world level to access each other's games and that's right like you know I like uh, I know why they've done that and they should do it that way because then you know you've got to play the game you can't just get carried through the game because um, some people like you know some people want to get carried but it ruins the game for you bro if you're gonna buy a game play the game like what's the point in getting carried through and then not doing anything and not experiencing the game for yourself um, so uh, what else was I gonna say? Arc ships. Once you beat the the game the first time, you beat the mothership for the first time. You're in world level two. Uh, it gets a bit harder. And then I was, th you know, I was hearing about these arc ships and thinking, why can't I access an arc ship? I can't find any arc ship keys. What's going on? Um, couldn't find information on it. Turns out you need to beat your second mothership in the mothership in world level two before you can access, uh, before you can get arc ship keys and go into that. So um, if you look here, once you beat it the first time and it, you get your first transmission, um, it's going to give you access to these UNX assignments, which if you've ever played uh, Diablo, uh, not Diablo, if you've ever played Destiny, uh, it's just like the bounties, you know, you're going to go to this guy, I think he's like the commander or something, Some he's some kind of boss man and he gives you these assignments you can see this one um, weapon technicians are looking to improve the effectiveness of the primary weapon against trailblazers that's a type of enemy but they're lacking good baseline data get 15 kills the location is your call so you'll just grab that oh I already have it and um, you can see there I've got 13 out of 15 two more and then I can turn this in and I wish I had one ready to turn in so I could show you but I don't um, when you turn them in, you're going to get down the bottom there, you're going to get uh, reroll materials 
for um, for experimenting with your weapons. You can re-roll them, the stats, you know, the damage. You can even re-roll the uh, um, the the chain down there, the slots, the amount of slots and the type of slots. So if you've got a gun and it's all um, it's all blue links and you want red because you want the damage instead of the fire rate, you can do that. But that's for another video. That's back onto the weapons. We're not talking about that. Um, yeah, so turning these bounties, once you're in world level 2, definitely pick these up. Like, that should be the first thing you do, is go and get yourself three assignments, because um, you'll get power cores for it, and that's what you want for leveling up your weapons, right? And the ma the materials, like, I'm starting to think, I, I didn't mess with them before, but I'm thinking, uh, you know, technically, you could just pick up any legendary weapon, you don't even have to be hunting for the perfect legendary anymore. You can just get a legendary weapon. As long as it's got the perk that you want, you can just re-roll the damage. You can re-roll the, the slots. You can re-roll everything. So, um, like, that's, that, you know, that's got, that's gonna, I'm going to do a video on that for sure because uh, I'll find a gun that I, I like the perk on and then I'll just keep re-rolling, re-rolling because i got so many materials there because I haven't been using them and re-roll it until I get uh, the perfect perfect weapon that's, that's gonna be a video for sure um, but yeah that's, pr that's it like world levels just it, it unlocks more stuff for you to do um, and it makes you uh, you're gonna get more loot let's see why not let's see if we can so the arc ship once you're in world level 2 and you wanna take down an arc ship first you're gonna have to get yourself a key which is uh, down the bottom there, access keys. The one that I've got 25 of is a UFO key, and then the uh, one I've only got six of is for arc ships. So you need a UFO key to get into UFO in order to find an arc ship key. Uh, UFO keys are really easy to get. They're in pretty much every mission, every map. You just look for the uh, the hideouts, which is a blue symbol on your map, and it's like it's moving, it's spinning. That's the one uh, you want to take go into those hideouts, clear out the enemies, and when you open the chest, keep a lookout for a little, like it's really easy to miss these keys, because they're not, the, the cores, you know, they're big and they're bright and there's a number, these arc ship keys are really small, and they're like, they just blend into the background, so keep your eyes out, um, best thing to look for is just run around in circles when you open your chest, and if you run over a key, it will come up saying, you know, arc ship key or UFO key, so, uh, go to any mission, get yourself a UFO key from those hideouts and then just do UFO after UFO until you open a chest and you get lucky and you open uh, a chest and get an arc ship key. Um, let's, we're gonna go into a UFO here and see if we can't get one. Captain, science Corps has figured out a way to if we get a UFO key, uh, an arc ship key, that'd be awesome just so I can show you in the video you watch now, we'll probably get one and I'll miss it, I won't even see it. Okay, so here we are in the UFO, we bring up the map and you can see there there's three chests. You definitely want to be hitting every chest room, every treasure room. What's that buddy? Until, um, definitely hit every chest room and hopefully you'll get lucky. Take out this one first. Somebody's already in here. Okay, boom, kick open the chest. I'm pretty sure I didn't see an art key come out of there. So one good tip is keep your eye as you open the chest, keep your eye open because all the loot spills out all over the place. If you do get a key, you'll probably see it. Um, that's a much easier way of doing it than looking around on the floor amongst all the dead aliens and guts and stuff. What's up, ghost? I 
What's up? You got any keys in there, boys? Looking for a key. No key in there. Okay, hopefully uh, this last room will sort us out. If we don't get a key, then uh, it's no biggie. It's just basically do this over and over until you get one. It won't take that long. Like, if I don't get one on this uh, this UFO, then I'd most likely get one in the next one. Shit, I nearly salvaged that. Yeah, no key. Oh! There we go, arc ship key. Grants access to an arc ship mission. Awesome. So there you go, guys. That's how you do it. Get yourself UFO keys from the uh, hideouts in any mission um, and then uh, do these UFO missions which are quick and easy as you can see straight in grab your loot good way to get exo uh, legendary weapons also and we're out of here so yeah guys that's how you get access to uh, the arc ships. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Keep enjoying Alienation, and I'll catch you in the next one.